you see these kind of sayings like some people don't deserve my energy or people earn my energy and presence and actually your energy is not higher than other people's in a way you're just refusing to take responsibility for the fact that you want a cocoon or that you don't want to deal with people or that you know maybe you're just kind of inconsiderate and really want to focus on yourself I mean, I feel like all I see are these posts about just my energy and oh, I, I am so special and so many people are just gnats at my wonderful specialness, but I just can't be bothered. I'm just such a queen, king. It's like, no, um, yeah, maybe people are, are into at talking to you, but it's not because you're a superior. So... Don't get it twisted. This is actually your ego, not your kindness or your, oh, yeah, I'm such a sensitive soul. I'm a sensitive empath. And the energy of all these peasants is just so draining because I'm just so high above it. I mean, that's how I read those kind of posts. And they, a lot of times they use the word, you know, don't give people energy when they don't deserve it. Again, they're acting as though their energy is a gift this kind of just like big sparkle dust. Uh, whenever I see somebody post this kind of superiority, I think, all right, you've proven to me that you're not somebody that, you're somebody that really looks down at me and thinks that my energy is inferior to yours. And sometimes it's even in interactions that I've paid for. It's like, okay, noted. You are somebody that I will withdraw energy from because the, the, uh, the idea that everyone else is so draining and beneath you is revealing more that you aren't somebody that has enough space to be considerate of others and to actually be an empath. You're actually a very selfish person that thinks they're superior and has to go out of your way to constantly talk about how your energy is superior and people earn it. It's like, all right, and then just be, be alone and carry on. Because no one, it, it's, it reminds me of a stand-up comedian that keeps commenting on how people aren't laughing. They're, they're alienating their very audience. So when a self-development kind of person is talking about withdraw your energy, I'm so deserving and the other people aren't, you just have to... They have to earn your energy. They say that. It, it's a superiority. They're, they're alienating their audience, who is often people who may take their advice or may be interested in asking for advice. And so when you just go and spit on your audience, then don't expect to keep it. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cruelty and this kind of egocentric nature that's masked in this, I'm so egoless. And I'm so, I'm so live, laugh, love. And I'm above everyone and my energy must be conserved. It's like, okay. They uh, keep saying that, but all you look like is that you're egocentric about being egoless. Which is really ego. The ego snuck right in and you're, again, you're, this superiority and how people talk down to others is more revealing than you acting like you're really teaching and lecturing people about don't demand my energy you know blah, blah. I'm I'm up on a pedestal and people will say this and I can't I often am amazed at the gall they have to say this because especially if it's a professional situation where people pay them um, I did give you money as a currency for your energy so you yeah, honor that. And then I also will see it with people, if they have to keep insisting that their energy needs to be earned, then it must be, I don't think it's high value energy. I, I mean, you, don't, you can still be kind and considerate and acknowledge when you're being a little bit in that condescending tone of voice. And when people may, people may monologue at you. Uh, sometimes people monologue in their form of processing. And sometimes it's even a, over explaining is, is they're trying to get at the nuance of something.
anyway, but just talk, I mean, they're not, they, it's true when these people say that they don't want anyone talking to them and that they have to earn their energy, take that as a, okay, then definitely just don't engage with them because they're, they need to rationalize a lot of their inconsiderate behaviors and they have a need to give advice and monologue for a living and yet they can't take when a monologue comes back at them that's just asking for advice that that person has often commented on, right? So um, they say, get away from me. Great. We'll get away from you because you really are somebody that has such a lack of empathy that, and, and for being in the space of giving advice. I think that's really, I think that's really a mean-spirited, cruel thing. And so whenever you see those kinds of people in the space commenting about that, I say, I mean, th while they're getting at a truth of not being like in self-betrayal, they're also having such a high and mighty element to how their energy needs to be earned. And it doesn't. They can, you can just get away. It goes both ways. We're in a, people are in a reciprocal dynamic. There's not a higher and a lower. So if it has to be earned, that goes both ways. And so your superiority has made you have to earn any type of connection with me as well. Because when, if I'm vulnerable enough to come to you with maybe seeking advice or a problem and then I get spit on and then I get um, put into this light of just so annoying, then hell with you. You, do not, you should not be in a therapeutic self-development, self-help space and you should not be rationalizing what is essential, essentially your need for self-involvement. Um, you can just own, hey, I'm a selfish bitch. Just say that. That actually might be kinder than this kind of, but I'm just, uh, I, people earn my energy and I'm, they're, they, if they deserve it, they might get it. I, I think that is just honestly really despicable.